let's have a look at the next question the next question is from a quadratic equation looking at this question i'm thinking you know definitely know my path to solution 3 plus 2 root 2 is a root of the equation so and so which means i can easily find the equation and 4 plus 2 root 3 is the root of this equation and they've asked for the some ratio and they have asked for this value definitely definitely doable yes might take me a couple of uh, two or two and a half minutes to do it, but I'm definitely doing it my first lot, definitely putting it in the category A. Because if one root is 3 plus 2 root 2, I know the other root has to be 3 minus 2 root 2. So, what are the sum of the roots? Sum of the roots becomes 6. And what is the product of the roots? Product will be 3 3s are 9 minus 2 root 2 into 2 root 2 is 8, 1. Right, so, sum is 6 and product is 1, which means my equation is x square minus the sum of the roots into x plus the product is 0. So, x square minus 6x plus 1 is this equation. So, I have got a as 1, b as minus 6 and c as 1. So, we got the values of a, b, c from what we want. Now, let us do exactly the same thing one more time for the second equation. 4 plus 2 root 3, the other root will be 4 minus 2 root 3. So, sum will be 8 because when I add 2 root 3 and minus 2, 2 root 3 will cut. And the product will be 16 minus 12, right? 4 4 the 16, a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square. So we'll get 16 minus 2 root 3 square will be 12. So it will be 4. So my equation will be x square minus 8x plus 4 is 0. Put that as a. So a is again 1, no need to write a. m is minus 8 and n is 4. So we've got that. Just carefully put it down over here what they've asked. They've asked for b by m. So, b is minus 6 upon m is minus 8 plus c minus 2b. So, c is 1 minus 2b will become plus 12 upon n. n is 4. So, minus minus cuts out. This becomes 3 by 4 plus 13 by 4 which will become 16 by 4 which will become 4 which is the first option. So, as I said that yes, the sum might take me two minutes, but definitely putting it as a category A, you should definitely look at the sum and tell yourself, yes, I know how to know, do it. I know all the steps which will be involved in this question and nothing looks very difficult.